Good morning, team winners. So good evening, or where the hell are you at right now? So, we're going to continue the short hours right now. We're at chapter 5, and last time we just have a fucking epic. Wait, wait. Perwinkle and Pastels. We're going to continue now at the start of chapter 5. Okay, so we, they just did the thing. Actually, uh, it's actually morning, so we're going to continue now. Team winners, we're going to put a let's try. Perwinkle wakes up in his bed the next morning alone. Uh, Pastel? No response. No evidence of him either. None of his clothes lying about. No blankets out of place. And wearing pajamas. No, I don't remember changing into them. In fact, I don't remember coming at home at all. Did I fall asleep then? Yeah, I vaguely remember being carried, but... Oh yeah, because... Yeah, because... At the park, right? They're at the park? At the last episode, and Perwinkle just got asleep at, at um, Pastel's shoulders, and she carried it to her house, so maybe she just let it sleep, I guess. Yeah, perhaps. Bosses, and suddenly chose to cover himself himself and leave the man. It truly isn't here? And it changed my clothes? Was I conscious for that? I. I I fell asleep before we could fuck. <laughs> Where Winkle faces around his room, desperately running through the events of the previous night. We were on our way here, we stopped to rest, but it was so comfortable that I. I. This is unheard of. This is. This is. This is the first time ever. This is the first time something like this has ever happened. We had such a nice day together, the perfect date, really. It should have ended with a bang. And really, it would have. We would very much wanted it to. So how could I have let myself fall asleep like that? No, there's no need to panic. I simply lost track of time. We had been walking around all day. Of course I would be worn out by the end of it. It should have accounted for that. A simple mistake. One of the completely nullified. All attention I had so gradually built up. Had I gotten lost in the performance then? The romantic flourish went only to heighten the, inten the intensity of the passionate night to come. It's wrong, I pretend? The only thing genuine about it is the lust that it masks. For me to have reached a point of satisfaction, but the intended finale would mean it was just a legitimate romantic date. A wrinkle stops in his tracks. He turns back toward his bed and crawls under the covers, wrapping himself up in them. Have I ever had one of these before? before? I mean, I certainly don't expect every day to end in a sexual encounter. Sometimes a partner just isn't ready, or something comes up. It isn't that sex was old, no, it's that he never even reached the bedroom. That's... that's never happened. The thought sinks in, ah, oh, Ferwinkles. Ferwinkles slowly and wraps himself on his blanket and sits up in bed. I'm overreacting. Yes, I'm really embarrassed, but I had to be carried home and stuck in the bed. We were taken care of like that. Usually I am the one who takes care of things, now I just feel ridiculous. Something isn't right here. There has to be an explanation. It's safe to admit, at this point, that I am very sensitive to matters that involve pastel. But where did that begin? It couldn't have started just the other day. Things were relatively normal, though I was seeing him quite often. More so than other partners in the past. Is this progress too far beyond casual? What could have caused this? He thinks for a moment of walking out of his bedroom with purse full strides. Going immediately to the book to the bookcase, he thought as the putting aside and pulls down the box of his favorite perfumes. He then carefully extract the bottle filled with pale pink liquid. You you must be the culprit. This approves this year. No, no potion. Oh, uh, <laughs> I wanted to see Pastel's reaction when he called it that. An inconse inconsequential little joke. It's kept coming up. There must be something to it. Could the peach blossom yesterday you have pretty amplified its effects? Yes, it all makes sense now. Whether it be by my own magic or some kind of chain reaction with Pastel's, it somehow, unintentionally, created a scent that invokes romantic obsession in witches. This wishes to be done! 
I have to put an end to these artificially inspired feelings. And create an anti aphrodisiac then. Something to cancel out its effects. At which point, everything will go back to normal. There's no problem at all. Convinced by his new theory, her wrinkle dresses himself and heads out to find a solution. Uh, he's doing it. Oh, next time! Oh, is this going to be the last one? Okay, so this time, White River and uh, Flower Choker grew flowers. I just hope that. Okay, maybe the lovely flowers are good. Okay, so let's give me the pretty sparkles. I don't know. Yeah, let's try those. I don't know. I want to be cute, dude. Ooh, this was different. I head, I head directly to the potion supply shop just a few blocks away. It's ringing, it's brimming with preppers materials, though I usually only come to purchase magic containers to buy also homemade curtains. Navigating the shelves of spell manuals and encyclopedias, I find myself somewhat overwhelmed. But soon the shopkeeper comes to my aid. Good afternoon, Pervinkle, and what might you be looking for today? New bottles or books or perhaps me? I'm ready. I'm ready. It's lovely to see you, but I'm strictly here for business. Playing the professional today, I see you lost. Few witches have ever come close to my level of flirty energy, but Amoretti is one of them. We may have pulled around the party once or twice, but who's to say? As much as her company would be a, a welcome distraction, I'm afraid of removing myself infected curse, curse takes priority. Priority. There is actually something you can help me with. At first, would you happen to know everything about aphrodisiacs? Ah, aphrodisiacs, magic that frees the heart, stimulates the libido. In the end, it means classified as dark magic because of the manipulative aspects, but... A few popular spell books happen to contain restrictions for consensual usage. Is that what you'd be looking for? Yes, uh... Rather, assuming those books also contain restrictions for canceling the effects. Hmm... Did something go wrong in the bedroom? They can tell me that they get embarrassed about. No, it's much more complicated than that. Which puzzle books did you say you could find this information in? I'd like to look through them if possible. Hmm. You're lying to me, aren't you? You just want to learn this spells to spy things out in the bedroom. But everything is related to sex already. Love them. No, you aren't the type. Come on, why won't you just tell me? I guess how people won't give up any details. All I want to know is whether or not of a disiac in this feelings of romantic love can be nullified. The details aren't important. So it is love. Hmm. <laughs> Why does she insist on wasting my time? A lighter standing tub from down the aisle startles both and right in her winkle. The bird turns to see a much shorter witch standing there peeing. Oh. Uh, if I had to listen to you to ignore my muses babble on for another second, I am going to lose it. Oh, there's another customer. There was another customer here. <laughs> How long they have been listening? First off, stop complaining of her disiacs and love potions. The entirely separate categories. A witch is old potion supply, should at least know that much. You still a whole book about it right here. She gestures to the thick tome she had slammed under the blur at the beginning of her outburst. So, that this, so that's the one I was thinking of. You'll find everything you need to know about canceling your love. It's probably there for a wrinkle. No, you won't. Uh, <laughs> you won't? Because it's not a freaking love salt to begin with. I find it majorly unlikely that I've been able to blow up a story like that. And I've been trying for literally years. Ah, uh, well, thank you. That certainly answers my question. As you're familiar with these things, I must ask if not a love spell, could it have been a side effect of some other type of magic? Ha, <sighs> a side effect. I think it's so easy it could be tracked on tackle just like that. Placebo effect is more like it, in which case, all you need to do is stop thinking about it and go away, Thomas. Oh, really? You saved me so much trouble. Thanks for the advice. Huh. <laughs> The shopkeeper would have done her research. <laughs> the witch's angry shouts fade into the placated mumbles as she storms out of the shop. Yeah, that does so well. You should work in retail. <laughs> oh, so I'm the one needing a new career now? Are we gonna exchange? 
I'm ready to give the nervous lab and steps away to return this full book to its proper shelf. After bidding it. After bidding her. Oh, choose me to the mud pit. After bidding her farewell, Permingle exits the store, being his short walk home. And then we're back home. A placebo, of course, it was, it was just a placebo, I can't fucking read. I should have thought of it sooner, and there was never any cause for alarm. It's just like before, it has nothing to do with Pastel. It just happens to be the one my mind is fixating on. It's precisely as that temperamental little witch said. If I stop thinking about him, the problem will really solve on its own. And so I must take a few days to focus on myself. Nope. I'll just until I can't find my way to out of this odd state I ended up in. And then, we're back home. Operation stop thinking about Pastel Day 1. Let's see, the, optimis of the optimal distraction task would be... Break, of course. Perhaps I could begin with the transforming aroma I thought of yesterday. Ah, uh, what, what that idea came about during our date. I should be avoiding any and all memories tied up to him at the moment. <sighs> this may prove more difficult than I anticipated. Oop. No matter. I'll just warm up with a nice bergamot scent for now. Yep, again, I'm doing a magic little trick. Her wrinkle retrieves a few empty vials from his box of burning supplies and readies his own. Instead of the bright green drops he expected, what comes out is a familiar pale pink. Each had it. Is it right at all? Is it? Is she thinking vessel? He sells a bottle and moves on to the next one. you think? If she merged this, this way yields the same result. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, magic is tied to emotions. It mustn't get frustrated and we have to focus. Yeah, perhaps it never helps to pause it. Just imagine the sound scent and he tries for a third time and yet. Peach again? Peach again? Not this car? There's a reason of supplies, so much for me to have a diligence. I went up her wrinkle, the actual thinking, Basil, oh shit. If we can conjure other scents, I'll have to find something else to occupy my time. A housework. I can finally get some chores down around here. Not a good possible distraction for final them today. They are the distraction. Oh, that's right, it's a little laundry to put away than I. And then, oh my god, there's a lot of fucking mess actually. <laughs> For Wrinkle's room, we should actually clean. <laughs> For Wrinkle walked into his bedroom to face a pile of clothes he hadn't pulled up yet. Whenever I told myself I'd get to it later, I tend to live for days. But a single large file he expected wasn't there, he said it was split in two, with one half already newly folded. I don't remember making this much progress. No, no, Vessel did this in his room. And he came to pick me up with it. Chris, this is too good. We can't touch this right now. A wrinkle covers a pile of nearly folded clothes with the rest of the unfolded ones in retaliation. There, one less reminded to one less, one less reminded to worry about. I can't have to think of something else to do. <laughs> she, she is, is she gonna think of Crystal again? The momentum of forgetting about Crystal have been completely futile. Let's forget we playing. No one said it was going to be easy. Ironically, the more you tell yourself that you think of something, the more your mind will be anxious by it. You must not let them just consume you. You have to find a way to relax. A nice bath should help to calm my nerves. <laughs> Later, the evening. Feeling so refreshed. I could do just about anything. I should try cooking for myself tonight. Now there's a task that will require equal attention. A wrinkle opens up the fridge for ideas. A feed of milk, a few cups of yogurt, some eggs, whipped cream. Are you gonna do a cake? There isn't much that we will there. This is why you never cook. Uh, but I could try making an omelette. How about for dinner? Oh, what fun! <laughs> yeah, that's me as well sometimes. When I eat this, like, good for dinner, I just cook like hot dogs and eggs, which should be caught in the morning. It's also a little singing. You know, so that I actually cook and like eat meal for dinner and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> triple reaches for the eggs and pause it. Actually, can I cook without magic? It turns to base of soap. This burn is the kind of life to smell. I'm part of nervous your magic is going to come out smelling a peach scan. Ho ho ho! slumps the bread shot. Very good, Kekang. What was I thinking? I'm not cut out to be a chef. Asso, on the other hand, 
Now that I know what singing her famous best, the light will domestic context is especially bad. No matter how much I want to eat this cooking now, it's obviously the time to be good at it. Oh, this is distressing, distressing. I'm already right back to where I started. Ah, I'll just order takeout. A wrinkle goes to bed that night, utterly incapable of forgetting about Hassel. Yes. <laughs> Operation seriously do not think about that point thing too. <laughs> I'm trying to work in, I'm trying to enjoy. Okay, so I'm gonna go and this one again. I'm really sorry if this one's only a 15 minute video. But yeah, I really like this one, this game, actually. <laughs> I'm having fun to this epic ship, which is where we go. And I'm passing up the so far for now. I'm gonna go end this one again, right? So, maybe I'm gonna do the entire episode, perhaps the ending, maybe, and the other chapters. But that's it for now, so yeah, like, subscribe, if you haven't, if you haven't, go fucking subscribe now to all of the shares, comment, notification bell. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye bye, Johnny Johnny Matani, Johnny Matani.